Oh, hello, Grit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today I will be jumping back to the awesome vocals of Casper Fox. This, I don't recognize the song. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna get. My songs know what you did in the dark, light them up. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Casper Fox face to face. It was delightful, Tommy P was also there. Tommy, but that was really love. So was Manav, who was in the uh, Line Sleeps Tonight cover over on Casper's channel that I have reacted to. It's over on my channel, but it was so much fun meeting them in person and I can't wait to see them again. But anyway, we are going to jump on into this. As always, this is a reaction and an analysis video, so you'll be expecting pauses. <laughs> if you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, I have left the link to the original video in the description below, but otherwise you have clicked on a reaction and an analysis video. And if you do enjoy what I do over here, then please do consider checking me out over on Patreon. There are other links that can be found in the description as well, such as the link to go and listen to I'm Not A Fan, and also a GoFundMe page link as well. We are in the middle of making a full album and I we just can't wait to share it with you, but do go and click on that link if you are in a position to support some more, otherwise, Make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the bell button and let's get to it. Oh, I completely forgot Fallout Boy from the title. That probably would have made so much more sense. Jennifer, I full name myself. <laughs> I see you, bass gang hat, love. Um, oh, we're getting some beatboxing from Casper too. That's fun. Um, uh, up on that A4, the note was correct. Uh, so well through the first passage here, very chest dominant, love it. Up on this ah uh, kind of vowel, really, really just lovely clean lines. We're getting lovely clear sounds as well. So the full, we're getting full vocal fold closure, love, and I love the, Dum, 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 dum. Mm, mm. I don't think I'm on it. Mm, dum, dum. I don't know. <laughs> There's some claps too. Like, ah, oh, that sustains on a rounded ah, oh, but then ah, oh, as he shoots up here, it's opening more on an ah, because we are wanting a fuller sound. So the more open ah it is, the more chest dominant connected we're gonna be. <laughs> and woo! Be, be, be careful making wishes in the dark, dark, can't be sure when they beat the smart and besides in the mean, mean time. Oh, this is oh hello grit. This is really cool. It's um edited edited really funkily. That's, that's the last what we're going with. <laughs> um, I think I saw that Ryan. Yeah, Ryan edited it. That's cool. So Ryan was obviously the lovely bass singer in the Toxic video, which if you haven't yet checked out, go and check it out. It's over on Casper's channel. Um, because I'm in it too. That's why I was saying it like that. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like how we keep getting that dum dum dum. That D3, uh, mm, yeah, that, yep. Yeah. I like how that continues and there's cool sound effects as he looks to the left. It's really cool. Beep, 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 careful making wishes in the dark, dark, can't be sure when they beat the smart and besides in the mean, mean time. I'm just dreaming of tearing you apart. And here we're also getting a repeated F4 here. Da 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 as the top note for this little section, which is at the top part of his chest uh, register. We can extend that a little bit as well, but it's at the top part. It's going to, it's going to hit his first passage soon, which means that we have to start like blending things. We can't be as heavy, as thick fold as we want to up there, but he's still maintaining a lovely full sound. And here we are in our thick fold still. Really lovely. In the meantime, I'm just dreaming of tearing you apart. I'm in the deep, deep Let's just listen to that because I love the ha ah, ah. ha. It's like ah. I'm just dreaming of tearing you apart. I'm in the deep, deep with the 
Oh, that kind of break silence of the beatbox. La, 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 that we're getting like higher ones as well, which is a different quality. It's a lot softer, but there's like cool rhythm, empty gaps beatboxing wise. Oh, I do know this song. Why do I know it? I do recognize it. Dark. So notice how he's still holding on to like a very thick sound here, very chest dominant sound here. Lovely. Um, we are getting a pull away as well. Da, and it's a very bright dark. So dark, dark. If I was to try and da, would be that's the vowel, the pure vowel da. But we're going da and brightening it ever so slightly to an A vowel. So we're kind of hitting hitting it with a lot of brightness already because it's higher than where he wouldn't talk up here so we have to do something. <laughs> um, we're excited. Oh, what you did in the dark. So light him up, 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 him up, 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 I'm a fire. So light him up. <laughs> fire. D5 up there. Uh, very, a lot thinner, right? Still, it's still got this kind of depth underneath. So we're definitely in a mix here. It's not fire, like pure head voice. You can hear something underneath as well, but it's not like, huh, because it's way too high. So vocal folds are thinned out because that's where we're going. Uh, but he's still navigating so well because he's got such a great developed head voice and chest voice. He's able to blend things and create a mix of what he wants. Stunning. And I like that. It's an our vowels now. That drop in the dum 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 <laughs> that drop that he goes down there. It's a crazy <laughs> I lost my water. Oh. It's mad because he's like uh, lead wise, uh, vocal line wise, da 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 da. He's continuously up in the upper part of his chest voice. So if we were like straining and using a lot of like, you know, causing tension in our vocal folds, we would feel that and it just wouldn't feel nice to sing. In order, if we're gonna keep repeating that, we want to make sure that we're feeling as relaxed as we can. Everything here, we're engaged our core, we're supported. Everything around, we're anchored, you know, everything is right where it needs to be. But here, we want to keep it so relaxed. Uh, it's so good. And these stabs are getting thicker as well as we, as, as we, as we go along. All of the riders keep on running what they ride. Somewhere where now that pretty pain just dies. I've got the scars from the morrow <laughs> and I wish you could see that you're the end. Except for me, a constellation of tears on your flesh. Everything that you love, flesh. Ooh. I liked just the lashes, but did we? Uh, one second. A constellation of tears on your flesh. Everything that you love, then burn the thing that you love. Oh, that was cool. That was really interesting. Goes straight onto that uh, vibrato there. Thing that you love, which is uh, it's standing out more because maybe previously it hasn't been like so quick on the note. We've maybe grabbed or maybe we haven't really had much vibrato at all. I love, really love that. Spin. Up tears on your Notice his me, me and C's are like E, and he's dropping down rather than C and squeezing. Me, C, because I, I know it's a just it's a it's just a D four, um, but he still at the top part. C, C D, uh, me, <laughs> it is a D, <laughs> but uh, really really lovely. It's very like 
extended speech. I'm going to keep saying that. It's like he's literally just calling it out. Ah! <laughs> but it's still, it's so like relaxed. And the fact that he can keep repeating this, it's wonderful. So that you see my songs know what you did in the dark. Can I, if I just throw out my hand, can I? One more time. <laughs> uh, so cool i love there especially as well the mouth position um from the bass casper in the middle was very like like pouty lips around and it's instantly instantly oh, it's really hard to talk like that it's instantly uh easier to maintain a darker deeper sound because we're elongating that vocal tract um also then on the side is it dark you did in the dark. Da again on this ah uh, kind of vowel brightening completely contrasting this sound that we're getting showing the teeth brightening that sound da like our hair and like the lips are like far back as well, so brightening and shortening the vocal. My songs know what you did in the dark. So light them up, 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 Well, 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 we beautifully went up to an A. It was so lovely and connected. This is what's so fun about the mix is because we can transition from, you know, our voice isn't just, we can make it seem like one long big register, but the truth is our vocal folds go through different registers. As when I talk about the first passage, uh, that is a distinctive part of our register gear change from thick folds and our vocal folds start thinning out. Like if I was to just continuously go, we'd find that ah, like around there, which is an A. That's why I talk around about an A. It's around there for female uh, voices. It's around an F three, four, lower set male voices. Um, that kind of first flip. We have more as we progress up. That's why, even though he's so, like he's still maintaining a clear vocal fold sound, that's down to the resistance in the vocal folds, but also we can't hear the gear changes. It's because he's navigating through his, in his mix quality and playing around with the balances as he decreases the chest connection and increases the head voice connection so he softens up but he it's still in the mix because he's still got elements of that it's really cool but anyway like he's hitting what <laughs> So he goes, how about fire? Then as he sits down on this D5, he's not going fire and trying to get thicker. He's staying in this kind of thin quality because obviously Casper's like, I need to go up to here to hit an E, A, an A5 soon. So let me fire, stay in that quality. So <laughs> it's hard to talk up there as well. Stay in that quality so that as he um, slides up to that A5, it's less noticeable, noticeable as well. He's going through different registers. Lovely. And you can hear how thin that is. Well, that was so fun. That was so much fun. I love that each time we come back and visit Casper Fox's new release, it's always something different. Like we've had so many different genres and so many different voice kind of qualities. It's so much fun. Uh, the arrangements that he comes up with are so just incredible. Like there's so many things that we can talk about and point out. Loved it. Thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, the bell button, and the thumbs up button. Do go over and check me out on Patreon, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye!